name's Andy Thielander. I'm the creative director at Active Theory. Uh, I'm in charge for uh, the creative direction of the project, everything from concept, UX, art direction, design, development, just the entire project. Um, we're pretty small, so we're, we're 10 people right now. Um, so everyone has different skill sets. Um, I kind of lead the visual design. I have a designer who works underneath me. We have uh, five developers. It's pretty developer heavy, and uh, two producers. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty small um, and pretty flat structure. We all kind of work on different parts of the project. Um, we work on three to four projects at a time. Like I said, we're pretty small, so everyone has kind of strengths and weaknesses. It, so the type of project that comes in, we, we just assign people depending on what their skill set is. Um, everyone works on different parts of the project usually. Um, so that's kind of how it works. Like projects come in and then we just assign resources based on who we think is best to fit that role. Um, we mostly look for passionate people, people who want to kind of do, not treat it as a job, um, which kind of applies to any sort of role. Um, designers, we kind of look for people who have like a modern take on design, they're kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit. Developers, um, they have kind of like a good creative coding sense, they can, they're doing some things that people aren't doing, um, and they're kind of just like proving that they can do similar work that to what we're doing. That's, that's kind of what we look for, um, people who can show that they can do similar work to us. Um, probably a lot more focus on mobile. Um, we've seen a pretty big shift in the last few years, just um, the trend going from desktop to mobile traffic. So I think a lot, there's going to be a lot more focus to mobile and probably less, less of a gap between native apps and web websites. So um, I think that'll come with kind of like as Android releases more features to the browser and Apple releases more features to the browser, we'll kind of see more app-like um, websites. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, we're, we're kind of working a lot on web VR right now, um, so that's kind of a big focus of ours. We obviously think WebGL is going to keep progressing. Um, that'll get into kind of more, you'll, you'll see more like games online. Um, as kind of WebGL gets kind of catches, um, catches up to the quality level of an Xbox or a PlayStation 4, um, and that'll kind of translate into web VR, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, obviously technologies like payment, um, camera, location services, as that kind of gets enabled to the browser, that'll kind of create more app-like experiences, like I said. Yeah, so first, first time coming here, which is really fun. Um, looking forward to meeting a lot of people that I know online. Um, haven't necessarily looked at the talks yet, but uh, <laughs> I, I will. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've come here, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, it's got a lot of effects from kind of getting recognition from your peers in your industry to getting new business, like clients see work you do through awards and they kind of they come to you because they see the quality of work you do. Um, as well as a lot of students see you as kind of like a, an up and coming studio and they kind of apply for you. So it kind of, it affects us on a, on a pretty broad level as well as getting a lot of users to the site, a lot of visitor traffic. Um, Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you for